My name is Alice, and I'll be presenting my research, End-to-End -end Chinese Landscape Painting Creation Using Generative Adversarial Networks. What do these generated artworks all have in common? Well, the models shown here all take an input, such as a photo of a woman's face or a user sketch, and translate that input into a generated artwork. Basically, these artworks are all copied from human-provided images. This is a problem because these artworks are then not truly machine original. Thus, in the interest of moving toward a more original art generation process, our purpose was to not only generate Chinese landscape paintings, but also to do this in an end-to-end -end manner. That is, without the need for a human-provided image. The challenges are twofold. First, there is currently no suitable Chinese landscape painting data set. Second, we need to ensure that both content and style are realistic in the paintings. Content meaning high-level outlines of landscapes, for instance, and style meaning the low-level colors and textures of the painting. And here's our approach. We first collect a new data set of traditional Chinese landscape paintings collected from online museum galleries such as the Smithsonian, Harvard, Princeton, and Metropolitan Museums of Art. This data set is currently available for public use at the GitHub link shown here. How do artists create paintings? They sketch first and then paint. Similarly, we split our model into two steps, a sketch GAN and paint GAN. Here, we show our proposed model sketch and paint GAN or SAPGAN for short. SketchGAN will first generate a latent vector and then an edge map, which serves as the sketch. PaintGAN will then take this sketch and translate it into a generated painting. The significance of our proposed method is that from end to end, there is no human provided input needed. To create the best performing model, we test combinations of different state of the art GANs such as StyleGAN2 and Spade, as candidates for SketchGAN and PaintGAN. Here's a lower level detail of SketchGAN and PaintGAN. SketchGAN is trained on holistically nested edge de detection edge maps, which are extracted from our dataset. PaintGAN is a conditional GAN trained on edge painting pairs. Here are the individual results of SketchGAN and PaintGAN. We find that style GAN2 and a relativistic least squares GAN produce realistic landscape sketches. For paint GAN, we find that Pix to Pix HD and Pix to Pix do best at painting in a generated sketch. Spade, meanwhile, overfits and produces oversaturated paintings. Here's a comparison between our model and baseline models, which were style GAN2 and RALS GAN. Baseline paintings are amorphous and do not look like realistic Chinese landscape paintings. Meanwhile, our model's paintings have realistic mountainous structures as well as lower level details and colors. To test our qualitative claims, we recruit 242 participants for a visual Turing test study. Each participant is asked whether a given painting is human or computer created. Results show that SAPGAN paintings are mistaken for human created over half of the time with a 55% frequency. SAPGAN paintings also significantly outperform baseline paintings in artistic categories such as aesthetics, composition, clarity, and creativity. Here are the main takeaways. Our proposed framework, Sketch and Paint Gan, creates Chinese landscape paintings from end to end. This means that Unlike previous artistic GANs, SAPGAN generates paintings without conditional input. SAPGAN paintings are often perceived as human-created. This work lays an important groundwork to allow for truly machine-original art. Thank you, and here are the references.